All right, so we're going to factor this quadratic. Um, and the reason why this is different from what we've been doing is um, you'll notice, for one, not many of the things that we factored had something other than a 1 out in front here. Um, so how we would approach this normally is say, oh, let's factor out that 3, right? OK, so we got 3, we factor out that. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. But then when we get here, there's no way for that to happen. I can't factor something out and so that, so that when I distribute this 3, I wind up with a minus 7. Or if, if I did do it, it would be this fraction, and it would not be fun to work with. So, hmm, that didn't work. What to do? All right. You might try lots of things. You might stumble upon something like this. Let's just, just go for it, right? I can't do x times x, because x times x is x squared. But what if I put a 3 there? 3x three times x is x squared. Great. Um, then I, I look at this guy and say, well, I need to multiply to make a negative 6, right? And, um, and then I need to add to make a negative 7, is what you might be thinking. And, uh, well, you can't quite figure that out. Uh, you try like a negative 1 and a negative 6, because that adds to negative 7, but it doesn't. It multiplies to positive 6. Mm, that's weird. Uh, I don't know what to do there. Let's say you tried. Well, let's just go for it, and um, we'll just make two numbers multiply to negative 6. So like. Let's try negative 3 and positive 2. Uh, let's just um, let's try it out. Uh, 3x times x is 3x squared. Um, 3x times 2 is 6x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And now we're starting to get close. We got 3x squared plus 4x, no, pl sorry, plus uh, 3x, 3x minus 6. So I guess it's pr pretty close, but we, we didn't get the minus 7 that we wanted, right? So we notice it, it is still a question of like, what times what will give me 3x squared, and what times what will give me negative 6. But to get this negative 7, it's not as simple as this number uh, plus this number, right? Because one of those numbers has to get multiplied by the 3. So now it's a kind of a different game. And what what will those two numbers be? Well, negative three there and, and two there don't work. What about negative two here and three here? Okay, so we got three times three is nine x. Negative two times x is negative two x. And now we got three x squared plus seven x minus six. Oh, great. So. You know, the sign is just off, so maybe if I switch these signs. Hold on, there we go. If I switch these signs, let's see what happens. Well, these signs would have to switch that. That seems like it's really got to work. I really think that's going to work. Uh, so if I put a plus 2 here and a minus 3 there, I'll get a plus 2x, a negative 3, uh, sorry, negative 9x, and that will be a total of negative 7x. So that was a lot of guesswork, all right? And that's a good place to start. It's a good, good place to start to, to guess. Um, but I want to show you a way called factoring by grouping that is not a bunch of guesswork. Okay, So we did figure it out. We did figure out how this factors. We found it. Let's find it in a way that will work every time. Okay. Some of you may be familiar with this. Maybe you saw this in previous videos. But I want to lay it out there and explain it. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, in a quadratic, the number in front of x squared we always call a, the number in front of uh, x to the first we call b, so b is negative 7 in this case, so a is 3, b is negative 7, and this guy here is c, c is negative 6, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a times c, okay, a times c is negative 18, negative 18. and then we're going to consider b, right? we're just going to look at b, b is negative 7, all right. So we are going to find two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7. What we do with them uh, might be surprising to you. All right. So what two numbers multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7? Uh, negative 9 times 2 does the job. Negative 9 times 2, those numbers may look familiar to you. We just saw them. Um, so. Uh, that, that does it. So what do we do with those? Okay, Well, they add up to the negative 7, right? The negative 
what, what we have in the in the expression is a negative 7x so it's like negative 9x plus 2x gives us that negative 7x but also think about it negative 9 and 2 have factors right that are factors of negative 18 and the negative 18 is the result of 3 times negative 6 okay okay well, let's let's just continue maybe that was a revelation to you and maybe it was not uh, I should have put plus there so negative 9x plus 2x is negative 7 um, all right, so what did we do? We took negative 7x and we split it up into two numbers, two, two terms that add up to negative 7x, but that these two multiply to negative 18, which is the same thing that 3 times negative 6 multiplies to. All right, and what that does is it, it, if we were to do this thing called grouping, if I were to group, hold on now, if I were to group these two into one group, and these two into another group. Let's see what we can do in those groups. Because 9 times 2 multiplies the same thing to the same thing as 3 times negative 6, uh, we are sure that these numbers have something in common, that these numbers have a factor in common as well. Right? Uh, so what, what all do these two have in common? Well, they have a 3. They also have an x. Okay, So that leaves us with x minus 3. Right. Check it out. Take a second. Verify it. All right. Plus this other group. Right. Plus this other group. Um, what does it have in common? What does what does this group have in common? Well, they have a two in common. And we also get x minus three. This identical factor is important. Okay. This next part is the one that confuses people most often. So that's why I have this guy over here. Maybe you were wondering why it's here. Uh, I want to remind you of something, how we can multiply these two things together. Because th keep in mind what we're trying to do is the reverse of that. We're trying to do the reverse of multiply two things together. We're trying to get this to look as the same way as this does, right? Two parentheses times each other. How can we multiply these together? Well, I can take, as we said last time, take this parentheses and distribute it to each of these terms, right? And look what that looks like. It looks like 3x times 5x minus 7 plus, that's a 2, I made it look funny when I put an arrow there, times 5x minus 7. Notice there are like there's one uh, term here and another term here, and they have these identical factors, just like this. Okay. So we're going to factor out an x minus 3 factor. Right? It's like this is the result of taking x minus 3, taking that whole thing, just like we took this whole thing, and distributing it to what? Distributing it to what? Well, distributing it to 3x plus 2. Right? If I were to distribute this thing, it would look exactly like this. Right? So, and then we're done. We factored it. Because we factored out this common factor of x minus 3 from these two terms, this term and this term. Just like we factored out a 3x from here, just like we factored out a 2 from here, we factored out an x minus 3 from both of these groups. And now it's factored. It's all done. Okay, So those are the basics. Um, we're going to take a times c, get negative 18. b uh, is negative 7. Okay, And uh, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 18, add to negative 7. So uh, in the following videos, you see several examples of this same idea worked out. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.